I never thought I'd say this, but GMRS is winning. Yeah, I said it. And if that made you mad, good. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Hamshack TV. I'm your host, Josh AA4WX. Appreciate you tuning in. Want to thank today's sponsor, Ham Radio Prep. Guys, I'll talk a little bit about, more about Ham Radio Prep in a little while, but we they've been a longtime supporter, been a supporter of the channel since the very beginning. We appreciate Ham Radio Prep support. Yeah, I said it. GMRS is still winning, and I know that made you mad, so I'm happy that it made you mad because it's time that we face the truth. While hams argue about antennas and nets and old traditions, the GMRS crowd is quietly doing what we forgot how to do, communicate. Drive across America right now and key up a GMRS repeater. You'll hear families checking in, off-roaders communicating, storm spotters relaying weather and just friends talking. It's really great. Now, do the same on on two meters. You'll hear silence. Ham radio has the bands, the power, the infrastructure, but GMRS has something we've lost, activity. People are actually using it. And the crazy part, most of those people would have made great hams, but they never bothered to get licensed. Now let's talk about ham radio prep. Ham radio prep is the ultimate source for your ham radio license. Folks, they offer three different Courses for license prep, the technician, the general, and the extra, and they're so confident they can help you pass your exam. They offer you a money-back guarantee. That's both for technician and your upgrades. So go check out my friends at hamradioprep.com, and you use my coupon code HAMSHACKTV, you're going to get 10% off right off the bat. And uh, they'll they, they, they that'll show a little bit of appreciation for the video as well. Uh, that's hamradioprep.com and use coupon code HAMSHAGTV to get 10% off. So go get your license. But why did they never bother to get their license? Because they looked at us, the politics, the gatekeeping, and the attitude and said, nah, I'll just use, I'll just push to talk. Let that sink in. While we're sitting in club meetings debating on whether digital modes are real radio, the GMRS community is growing. Families are buying repeaters. Groups are forming. Networks are linking up nationwide. That's a whole other topic for another day. They're innovating, collaborating, and having fun. Meanwhile, Ham Radio is busy with uh, with policing call signs and nitpicking how someone got licensed. You know, when I was a young technician, I was I was in my twenties. But we had a, uh, a, a gentleman, I won't say his name or his call sign, he's silent key now, but he absolutely loved picking at new hams. Absolutely loved it. I did, it was like a, uh, what they say, water running off a duck's back. I let it go. Usually I'd get fired up, but no, I wasn't letting him keep me from what I enjoyed. And that was on a bit with the, the, well, one of the most, if not the most popular nets uh, here in my neck of the woods. So this is the gatekeeping I've been talking about in this series. We've turned what used to be a gateway into a brick wall. The truth is GMRS doesn't care if your antenna is resonant or if your mic gain is perfect. They care if it works. And at the end of the day, isn't that what matters? They're not chasing perfection. They're chasing connection. And that's something amateur radio used to stand for. Ham radio used to be about people, not politics, not elitism, and not nostalgia. And folks, I'm I love nostalgia. You know, I'm in my late 30s now, and I can tell you this: I I look back at stuff at the 90s, and I know most of my audience is much older than me. But I look at I look back in the 90s, and I'm just like, oh, what a great time! Early 2000s, what a great time! So I can appreciate nostalgia, but we're too stuck in nostalgia in this hobby. We built repeaters to bring people together, not sit silent for months at a time. So yeah, GMRS is beating us. Not because it's better technology, 
not because it's easier, but because its community is alive, active, and welcoming. And maybe that's the wake-up call we need. Because if ham radio can't rediscover its purpose, if we can't remember how to welcome new operators and make this hobby fun again, then maybe the next generation won't be calling CQ on 146 520. They'll be calling, uh, they'll be on channel 20 calling CQ on GMRS. I'm Josh, AA4WX. Live, learn, transmit. Welcome to the shag. Guys, I can't thank y'all enough. This is, I'm trying to give you all some food for thought. Some food for thought. I actually was reached out to by someone in a high place. It was very, very unexpected, but I got reached out to by David Minster, uh, the CEO of the AWRL. And I've had some harsh words for the AWRL in the past. I have. I'll be the first to admit that. But to his point, the conversations that I'm having here on Hamshack TV need to be happening. And he even admitted that. So I appreciate, uh, David, if you're watching this video, thank you for tuning in to Hamshack TV. We're going to continue to try to grow this thing because the goal is to grow this hobby. And, and you know, we're going to do that one station at a time. Go check out hammerradioplatform.com. Don't forget the coupon code Hamshack TV. You get 10% off. They're already great prices. See website for details on the money back guarantee. 73 AA4WX WSCB 693.